So you may have been wondering, how do they get a bank or half round? Well, in today's video, we'll be showing you. Well, I won't be showing you. Kulinda will be showing you. Remember that bangle she did in the previous video? That oval one? She's going to be fighting that one half round. And I'll be narrating the whole thing. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Chunky Jeweler. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is position your bangle firmly on your bench pin. Grab your half round file and with the flat side of the file, you start filing away those edges. Be sure to file at a roughly a 45 degree angle across the top of the bangle, making sure you're keeping everything nice and even. And you go across the top at a curve like motion in order to get that nice half round shape. Once you are happy with the outside, you can lightly file the inside edges of the bangle just to get rid of all those sharp edges. Uh, this helps when the customer puts it on, so it doesn't peel off their skin. So always a handy tip. Once you are happy with your filing, then it's time to sandpaper. So be sure to sandpaper the inside, the outside, remove all the file marks. And you'll also notice when polishing, if you've missed a couple of spots with the sanding, you might a few file marks still might show up. And this is your chance to get rid of those. So just polish, if you see any marks, go back to the bench, sandpaper some more, and then back to the polisher. So this step is very crucial. In any jeweler's workshop, you need a polishing machine in order to shine up your jewelry piece. And be sure to take your time because it's very important to have a highly polished jewelry item once you've completed it um, it can improve your overall appearance of the jewelry piece by thousands of percent it's percentages so be sure to spend to take some time and get it done properly in editing this video this part of polishing the bangle the total amount of footage was roughly about half an hour so that's how much time was spent on actually polishing this bangle so now we go on to the final st stages as washing the bangle by rinsing off all the excess polish that might be stuck on the bangle. What we have over here is our ultrasonic machine. If you don't have one, I would highly recommend you get one because it's another crucial piece of equipment in a jeweler's workshop. Just be sure that your water is not as dirty as mine. It should have been cleaned two days ago, but it's now clean, so don't stress. So once you've had it in the ultrasonic, I see my lovely ultrasonic handle there, we make those. Southwest plug. Next step is we use a bit of silver dip or jeweler's dip just to get that extra bit of sparkle on the bangle. It always helps to give it that nice wet look when it's done. So if you'd like more information about that, drop me a note in the comment section and you might see the elusive barefoot jeweler in the background. That wasn't me, I promise. It's someone else, I tell you. So now that you've polished your bangle and you've washed it, it's good, always good practice to take a polishing cloth to it and inspect it. Make sure there's no scratches on the bangle. And yeah, then you're good to go. So that's how you make a poli uh, <laughs> how you make a bangle half round. Yeah. If you don't own half round bangle dies. Uh, but that's a subject for the next video. So just to let you know that in the next video, we'll be uh, melting down the filings from this bangle and recovering it and we might make a little disc out of it but the whole process I'll show you how to actually clean and melt the filings so catch you in the next one chunky jeweler out thanks for watching and consider subscribing to the channel I really appreciate it bye